Well, when they found the skeleton in my kitchen, they assumed it was mine, so by the time I got home, the landlord had already rented the place out to someone else. Kind of looked like Ed with a beard. There's no way it could be me. Oh, wait, maybe. The cola has been outlawed as a drug all over the globe. After several years, I realized there was only one choice. Kill my past self to spare me from such a grim future. But that doesn't look very futuristic. We should find a safe base to hide in. Hey, head. What made you think your future self would not know where his past self would be hiding? Then how come it took you so long to find us? Shut up! Now prepare to die! But, but, won't, won't this make some kind of paradox or something? Don't be stupid. That kind of thing only happens in the movies. Son of a <laughs> Meanwhile, huh? It's a good job Red Leader had a second time travel device. Now we just have to stop Ed before he messes anything up in the future. So where should we start looking? I'm not sure, but I hope Ed's past self has enough sense to hide somewhere. Time to finish this once and for all. Stop right there! Ed, we're here to stop you before you destroy the future for your selfish needs. No! I won't go back! I won't go back to that bleak, soda-free future! Huh? Matt, hurry! Save us! Tell us, Matt. How did you come up with the idea of creating and ruling everything in existence? Well, it all started when I got my hands on it. I mean, uh, invented my own time machine. Anyway, I pretty much just went back in time and did all the- I hate- Love, Matt!